plus max HP or early encounters have less HP. Uh, well, we can't get a one HP elite, so I don't super care for that. I also don't want to take an early burning because that sucked last time. Is there any way I can work a shop in by going to this other elite? I don't think so. So actually, maybe I do go for the burning elite here. I don't want to go for the super early shop because I want to actually have money. And we can block for like almost nothing. Fantastic. And now that we no longer need to block, I have all the block. And he's dead. Let's go for cold snap. Frost is really consistent. So this is going to get me to block every turn. Which is quite nice. I don't think it did anything for us there, but it was still nice. Let's get the reinforced body again. Reinforced body felt really good last run. We're going very defensive, which is what got us killed against the gremlin knob last time, but... I don't need these questions. Did I strike them? I should not have struck them there. And lethal, baby. We are super defensive right now, but these are all defensive. I think I prefer Steam Barrier over the rest of them because it gives us an option to block for free. So now I can just go all out on offense, even though I didn't need to use that at all because of those hits, which that's on me. Oh, we got no block there. I need to make sure that I'm actually fully blocking instead of just pretending. Ooh, varying bottle's good though. Let's see, we probably go for Glacier here or Hologram. We have no actual way of putting out damage. We go for Hologram. We're, we're going to struggle so much here. It's going to go so bad. Because again, we have no way of doing damage. I don't think it really matters when we start this fight. We're not going to be in a good spot, basically, no matter what. So we can just full block this. Mm. Do a decent chunk of damage there, but so does he. And we draw our good block cards this turn when he's not attacking. All right, we do not have anything in our discard at this point, so alas. Maybe I should use hologram to get back my... Not what I wanted to use, actually. So if I use reinforced body, I get up to 6, I block 18. I think we just use reinforced body there. We take two. That's fine. We are so close to getting this guy down, but he's also doing so much damage to us. I'm shocked we only took that much damage on that round. Okay. All right. So that wasn't that bad. That's an awful whetstone there. We have nothing that works with this yet, but I want I want it to work. Can we find our claws again? Where am I? Where claw? I probably should have channeled there instead. We should be able to kill here. Yeah, we got him. Go for the eyes. Let's see if we can get some good stuff here. Boot sequence, innate, 10 block. Gain 2 block, draw 1 card. So this is just any 0 cost, right? Put all 0 cost cards into your hand. So like these would go great together. 
I think I like both of these. And then I will take a removal to try to get some of our block out of our deck because we have so much block. Ooh, big. For every five cards in your deck, you'll three HP when you enter a rest site. That's not bad at all. Hey, look, a rest site. This turns into a zero cost, which is really good. That works with all for one now. Or one for all. I already forgot. Let's see. So that was already a zap. Give me the zap back again, and then full block. So now we have all of our orbs up and running. We can dual cast here. And we can almost full block this turn. And we can go all for one. Oh, wait, he's dead. He's freaking dead, man. We can creatures deal 25% less damage. Oh, that's really good, but I don't think we want it here. At the start of your turn, add a random power into your hand. I do not like that card. I understand how it's used-ish. Sort of. Not really. I don't know what this relic is. Is this like a... Oh, that's a really good relic. Okay. I think that was worth it. I don't know if that's like guaranteed to be a good relic or something. Oh, and that goes through, I think. That does just do health damage directly. Dude, all for one already going kind of crazy. Oh, that's so good, though. Hold up. Get rid of you, because that with all for one is insane, is cracked. Turbo might also be really good with it, but I don't know. I'll try and focus down. Uh, I probably shouldn't have done that, actually. That's fine. I'll play like this. Oh, so the regret does not go through block, I see. I did that in the wrong order. If the enemy intends to attack, apply weak. So I could use that defensively with another hologram here. Oh, uh, yeah, I should probably actually pull this in to apply weak to you. Uh, I don't know if I want to use a potion here. I haven't been using any potions, but it's just minus two. That's not bad. So we play you here for sure. Play all for one here. Dude, hit this guy once! My health! Cookies are done, gotta say. Kato had a good idea here. I mean, it is cookies. How could you go wrong? Oh, we have plenty of block here. Alright, so we got through this fight. I don't think we took that much damage, and given how poorly this fight normally goes for me, I'd call this a resounding success. Ooh. Start each combat with 10 block. Very good. Oh wait, Streamline's sick with this actually. Because you can get Streamline down to a zero cost. Yeah, no, that's so good. All right, what benefits the most from getting upgraded here? Probably Hologram. Hologram doesn't exhaust anymore. self repair gets up to 10. I think we go for Hologram upgrade though. Hologram seems like a very high value upgrade. We just do this for the flat damage. We do have the liquid memories now. 
for... Oh, wait a second. So I can go for the eyes. I can do this. I can now hologram to call all for one. To then use that, use you, use you. I don't need the steam barrier. Slime quash! Oh, that's gonna hurt, man. What if we didn't? So this is gonna do 15, this is gonna get him below half. He's gonna stop his little wampage. Let's pop the liquid memories here to call back all for one as a freebie. And then bam, bam. And now we have really trivialized this fight. He's gonna split into two 14 pops. And we are doing so good. He's gonna split into- nope, he's dead. <laughs> Goodbye! At the start of your turn, draw an additional card. I think that's really good here for this. Double the effectiveness of potions. You cannot play more than six cards a turn. That seems really bad. Sneko Eye is really bad here as well. Two additional cards and Confuse. So you have randomized card cost. I think we just take Sacred Vark for better potions. That seems fine. Do you go through this one in order to use... Yeah, we go through this in order to be able to use the shop. Now we start getting some streamlined value. And we can just block up this turn. Alright, so I think the correct play here is to go for the Reinforced Body. I think the Reinforced Body is almost always correct here. Alternatively, I could go for the Finesse. We go Finesse, we could get you. Get a little bit more block there, get a little bit more block there. That wasn't that bad. Get a little bit of block on. Alright, and that should be lethal with the lightning. There we go. Not bad. Alright, the streamline's slow to get down, I've noticed. Without being able to quickly replay it. I think we need like an echo form or something like that to really make that pop off. Charge battery. Is charge battery good? It is defensive. I feel like we're struggling to actually get enough defense when we don't draw our reinforced body. We also just really want claws and we have not found any claws. Dude, you just need to hit this guy once with the orbs. Oh, I'm to do no damage now this turn. All right. Just get two of these, no biggie. Why did I get two of them? I don't think I care for any of these. They're not bad, they're just not phenomenal. Alright. Feel some vulnerable. 
We did not do that much damage this turn. We're gonna need to do significantly more damage if we want to peel through this. Yeah, we're gonna take a lot of damage here. Because we're just not that fast. And these guys are going to ramp relatively quickly. Okay, so that has lethal. And it feels bad to do a full block here because that means that these guys are going to continue to scale at 3 extra strength per turn. And we should have all for one at the back of the deck, yeah. So I can go here, pull the hologram, use all for one. And then bang, bang, to block, go for the eyes. And we still need more block. Oh, this fight's getting so scary. I don't like these little bird men. These little bird men are spooky. Okay, okay, we're down to our last Birdman though. Last Birdman. Pull a self repair. Let's see, I could gain, I could use this on two energy and be relatively okay. Could I also use, I've not played Streamline a single time. Dude, Streamline's so hard to play. I guess good. 15 damage is almost the same as just playing a single Strike Plus. And it's better than just playing a regular strike. Like, it's not bad just to play from raw, from neutral. I think we put off our damage to next turn and hope to draw something that helps us. Please? Hey, something that helps. That was terrifying. Claw! It's a claw! <laughs> give me the waffle, give me the lantern. Oh, I should have picked up the good instincts. Good instincts is really good. I have no block here. Good draw. Oh, but I start with block anyways because I anchor. Thank you, Anchor. Hi, where's my block cards? Hi. I'm gonna need you to not do damage. Oh, right, we have Sacred Park. That's why we got the extra earlier. Right. All right, so now we got all of our defensive cards, so that's like really cool. Guess we'll just grab a claw, use you. Oh, I should have used the strike. That was my bad. We're taking so much damage, so. More claw, please. Yeah, look at that. Five damage claw. Wow. So good. Can a one dart trigger the passive ability of all orbs or another self-repair? Surely just one more self-repair is good. I'll try and just apply a bunch of damage on this back guy. We actually use our streamline for once here. Which feels kind of nice. We have a single go for the eyes in the back. Is the go for the eyes worth it? Seems kind of bad. I don't think we necessarily want to evoke here either. We don't have anything better to do, sadly. 
Like, this is a pretty garbage draw, but... Like, what else am I gonna do, right? Alright, get me my all for one. Thank you. Dude, just focus this guy just a little bit, please. We're taking so much damage now. No. I should have just used the reinforced body to start with there. I shouldn't have wasted all that energy. I took so much more damage than I needed to. May as well try to block for as much as we can there. I don't have all for one in the back, right? No, I don't. Let's see, we could rip this and that should get us to full blocking this guy, yeah. Yeah, so we're fine. Taskmaster on his own isn't that bad. It's Taskmaster whip everybody else, that's kind of rough. All right, we rip you, rip this guy. Streamlined, so good. Deal 10 damage, draw 5 cards, discard any cards drawn this way that do not cost 0. Fantastic. Do we go for this? I don't think it makes sense to go for Chaos. I also have not been able to use my machine learning at all, which is kind of insane. A 9 block is really good or we could just make the streamline always really good to pull like that makes it so much easier to justify using it Let's just pop the... That's focus? Well, I did not think that was focus. I thought that was draw more cards. <laughs> Whoops. All right. Let's see, there's a nice little bit of collage here. And then we should be able to kill this guy real quick. We just dunked all of those cards. No biggie. And we should full block there. This extra focus is huge here, though, I gotta say. It is very good for us. I'm gonna throw our entire draw pile. God, I hate that that card goes through your... Okay. Alright, so do we dual cast here? And then we gain 18 block. Buy one vulnerable. Vulnerable doesn't really make a difference here, sadly. Sneaky Gremlin would be really nice to kill here, but we can't really guarantee it. I think we rip you, rip you, and then block for a bunch. Okay, so we could have killed this guy if we actually targeted him. All 
All right. Hopefully we rip the... Oh, that's so much damage. Hold up. Yeah, we don't have any way to draw, actually. Because I don't have the, the self-repairs in the discard pile. So we just kill here. What tweet? That's right. Get out of here. A hologram plus seems fantastic right about now. Okay, so we made it through both of our elite fights. Oh yeah, Ornithopter is insane. Healing for using potions, something that you should be doing anyways. Fantastic. Applying two weak instead of one weak is really, really good. Same with applying more vulnerable. This is a pretty good defensive card though. But I think realistically we're taking a lot of damage. Very consistently. I think I like going this way to get more upgrades in. Okay, that went shockingly well. Like, I am actually in a state of shock. Oh, I should have used a hologram there. Uh, well, whatever. It's not like it really matters. Oh, I didn't leave enough energy. It's fine. We could have ended the fight there, but... Let's see if we can draw our other self repair. There we go. And then a hologram, pull in the streamline for a ridiculous 20 damage. And then we heal 17. Huge. Steam Barrier Plus is really good. Yeah, we don't have a ton of cash. So I'm going to go this way instead. Finesse becomes a much better card. Charge Battery is also kind of sick with the upgrade. I'm going to upgrade Reinforced Body instead. Hi. Hey, lose all your gold? No, I think not. I think this is a mistake, but I think not. Order is bad. Bear, no, bear. My friend. Get wrecked. All right. So now it's just this guy. Alright, so I think we scrape here first to then be able to pop these guys. And we can get a good chunk of block off here and then just draw a ridiculous amount of garbage. I'm sorry, last card on the pile? Ah, that's not bad. Well, he's super dead. Goodbye! At the start of each combat, apply one week to all enemies. I don't think I care about any of those. These are resurrected by Niao. Remember only fragments of their past selves. First to fight for eternity. As you near the final page, your old wounds begin to reopen. Necronomicon. The first attack played each turn costs two or more is played twice. Uh, that seems really good. What's the curse? There's no escape from this curse. Necronomicurse? 
What does that mean? All right, let's upgrade probably steam barrier. Steam barrier, because it keeps getting worse the more you use it, having a higher initial starting point is significantly better. All right, let's scrape here. Grumpy because my boyfriend woke me up to go out to eat. Was it at least good food? Oh, bad order. No, that's fine. Because this guy is not going to be able to do anything anyways. Are right, we block most of the incoming? No, we block all the incoming damage. Sick. Korean barbecue. Good food, but dang, want to sleep in. <laughs> I mean, understandable. Korean barbecue, man. Ooh, I got the good card. All for one. Wait, did it exhaust it? Or no, it just played it twice. Okay. The first attack played each turn that costs two or more is played twice. Oh, I could use that to make Streamline free immediately, too, right? Played each turn, that costs two or more. Oh, that's so good. Wait a second. That's every turn, too. And we can just full block here. Oh, so good. This relic is insane. Escape! All right, and then give me my all for one again. And oh man, this is crazy. We play it twice. Oh, wild! What a what a coincidence. Deal seven damage. Thank you. Don't mind me. Uh, we're already full blocking. Get that streamline in there, dude. Streamline with this is so good. I want more streamlines now. <laughs> all right. I think we're fine here. Like, even though this guy's scaling at plus three strength, I'm surprisingly not that scared. <gasps> That's a big attack, actually. I'm feeling... Guys, I'm feeling... I'm feeling fear? I'm afraid. Help. Help. I'm scared. He's hyper-beaming me. He hypered my beam. Uh, It hurt. Let's see. Pop you. Did I already use all for one? No. What would I want to pull in? Well, we'll see. Yeah, there we go. That does not work out because I don't have enough energy though. Because it threw all for one into my discard pile, but I'm not able to actually draw it again to use this turn. But I can instead pull in another... Okay. Not dealing much, but okay. Alright, so we take two damage. Not bad. Alright, and he's almost down. We're almost out of here. Am I able to go for lethal here? I don't think so. Right? We do have a ton of block already. Gain five block. Yeah, we fully block anyways. We're good. Did my claw! Let's start your turn out of rain and power to your hand. Another machine learning. Surely I'll actually use it this time. At the end of your turn, no longer discard your hand. That seems really bad for me. All enemies start with one strength. I think we're actually super fine on energy. Like those do make our start smoother, but our start's pretty consistent, honestly, all things considered. Let's go to the immediate shop here. All right, and now I get to double play this. 
So now it's immediately down to a zero cost, which is nutty. It's so good. That's so good. All right, we got to spread out the damage a little bit here. Order is bad on that. I need to remember to use my vulnerable. <laughs> Apparently, I'm still. I suppose I'm so sorry for your loss. You know, I understand the tragedy this must be inflicting upon you. Thanks for the resub. Appreciate you. Hope you're doing good. Let's see. Do we want to do eight damage randomly? No, I don't think we want to do eight damage randomly because if we kill this guy, there's no shot of us killing the other two. And it's not like it blocks damage for us. Pulling this guy in doesn't actually block any damage either. We could do 20 damage here, or we could instead block for 7. I think we block for 7 here. Kill me. Hi! Hi, Essica. Oh, wow, hi! Uh... Do we need the block here? We do need the block here. Get that block in. No, all right, that's fine, actually. All right, so we definitely need to steam berry here. We definitely want to claw, finesse, and give them an all for one punch. We draw into a self repair, but we are currently taking 32 incoming damage and we are not blocking enough. So let's just block fully. How's a hurricane treating you? Dude, is that what's been going on? Because it's been so bad here. I've been hating it just constantly being stormy as can be. Literally been losing it. Literally losing it. Do I need to... I think I pop this and then pull you to get this back into hand. And then that should kill you. You can pull this can claw you and we are through i think really what we want here is more claws or more streamlines either of those are sick sunder is also good but it's not as useful whenever you add a skill to your deck upgrade it eh cards that exhaust have a 50 percent chance to exhaust hello yes for the past few days three days Dude, it feels like it's been like that for the past, like, week. It's been insane. I've never used an umbrella more in <laughs> Don't you come from Seattle where it rains all the time? I never had a, an umbrella in Seattle. It was always the lightest drizzles there. There was never, like, real rain. It was so infrequent. So infrequent for that. Let's get rid of the regret. No more regrets. Only happy. If you have no block gain, 11. No, I'm good. Herbo for more energy. No, I'm good. Whenever you deal 4 or less on block damage, increase it to 5. I mean, that's really nice with the claws to start. Boot. But yeah, Seattle, not as rainy or bad as everybody makes it out to be. This place, actual nightmare fuel. All right, we're just taking a bunch of damage I can't really do anything about. Alas. And this guy is just dead. Goodbye. Let's see. There's a chance that we just kill the guy that I wanted to kill, but that's fine. He's going to go boom next turn. All right, let's pop a steam berry here, use a streamline. Pop you, pop you. And then we just lay on as much damage as we can without actually taking damage. 
And we aren't taking any damage at this point, so we just leave it as. And that should just kill on its own. We're good. Yeah, what I'm looking for right now is just a... Just more claws. Ooh. Colorous, colorous cards. Colorless. Deal three damage, draw one card. That might be good. That might just be good enough. Enemy loses nine strength this turn, exhaust. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's like a targeted piercing whale. Deal damage equal to the number of cards in your draw pile. That seems like it could be insane. Apply to your weak, eh? Add one random colors card into your hand. These all kind of sucked. I'm tempted to pick these up. Because if we draw them early... <laughs> we're just gonna mind blast. <laughs> I am now. Receive to madness. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling mad. Wait. <laughs> uh, hyper beam. Hyper beam. I forgot this is a Nate. That's so funny. So that's, that's, um, we have questionable starting hands. Hi. Oh, I wish I could guarantee that this goes on to you. I don't think it's worth trying to force it, though. I think we set this up. And we just take the 13. Wait, do I just block any amount of damage once? Did I have a buffer? Where did I even get that from? Alright, so we hologram up here to then use... Where is my all for one? There it is. And then we streamline, and then we claw, and then we go for the eyes, and then we channel. And then we hit him with a bunch of magic doohickeys. Dual cast you. Eh. I'm not finding a good spot to use these madnesses. Apply some vulnerable, I get some seam barriers up here. Up you, scrape. And we just cycled our entire deck, that's fine. Okay, zap here. Hold snap, defend, madness. It's a hologram here. Honestly, acceptable. It's not really what I wanted, but it's good enough. That being said, where's my defense? Help, help, help. I'm scared. All right, well, uh, it's not like it super matters what I grab here. Oh, but I did evoke my Frost Orb, so that did matter. Why are you still here? Brother, I'm asking myself the same question. What am I doing here? You are suddenly not that good of a card. We have to do 18 damage with you. Use the Madness to make this free. This does one damage. Uh, uh, that's not great, buddy. All 
All right, if we could, um, no, no goodbye. I'm still here. Hi. Hi. Hold me, I'm scared. Like a block for 30. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, I feel. I feel safe. Let's do a little bit of extra damage here. Wow, so good. Be fully blocked. It's not like we're on 7 HP and need to fully block, but you know, it just it felt right. Mind blast them twice. Holy. Okay, we finally got <laughs> that at least. I'll keep it a stack. I like a stack. You're gonna come up on another shop. And I should get that at this point. We're also gonna need to take the chest coming up ahead. Alright. Let's see. Team cell, do some vulnerable. And then we get to double this off. Yo, nice damage. Shame if you were to just get absolutely destroyed. Mine is 168 strength. Surely reproducible. Yeah, we we can pump out a lot of damage early. It's just we need to hit for it. Like, this is not what I describe as hitting right now. All right, let's pop you. Play the six top cards of your deck. Well, I think our madness didn't do anything, but alas. All right, so we should have, yeah, all for one in the back. So we should rip this, pull in the all for one, pop it here. Damn. It's gonna last two more turns. One more turn. That does such a silly amount of damage. <coughs> so how does this work again? Upon losing HP, you lose that much strength until the end of this turn. So this is technically better. Actually, it would have been better to use the reinforced body. Eh. Oh, dude, Horncleat's so good. That's unfortunate. I'm liking all these boat relics we've been getting. All right. Which way do we prefer? Because we get elites on every single path here. So I think we go this way for the extra question marks. Okay, so the exact same amount of question marks, but we could also decide to not take an elite if we're feeling scared. Oh, dude, I hate this guy. All right, so you use madness here. And then we can finesse and steam bear. Oh, I forgot that we had so much starting block. I. <laughs> oh, that's so much. That's so much damage. I can't do anything about it, though, so hi. Buffer wears off. Where do I get the buffer from? Oh, fossilized helix. Of course. All right, and this music, I don't, it's not, it's not doing it right now for me. Let's get, 
Let's let's just change it up a little bit. Let's just change it up a little bit. How about that? And let me know if that's way too quiet. Oh, it's so quiet. All right, there we go. Do I want to make any of these zero cost? The answer is not really. I don't really want to damage this guy right now. All right, so we pop you here. Go for the eyes. All for one. Streamline again. Go for the eyes. I think we sh do not have lethal here. Deal six damage! Okay, thank god. And this is just going to get scaled. So I don't have to worry about... Oh, I thought that was going to change his... Prerogative. I'll see if we can draw one of the self-repairs. Otherwise, we can just kill him. That works too. These mind blasts are very funny. <laughs> are they good? I don't know. But are they funny? Yeah, huh? Get a full HP, but take 11. You leave confused. Yeah, I feel that. I feel confused too. So I could defend here, or I can instead go for lethal. I think it makes more sense to uh, not do that. We defend. There's a chance we kill this guy, but I'm a little bit, a little bit scared. Oh, okay. So we do kill him. My bad. All for one popping off. Hi. Heat sinks. Whenever you play power, draw two cards. Eh. Defragment. Eh. I sleep. Do we have all of the things that we need? I think we do. Go challenge the heart. Upgrading that to be zero cost is huge. It makes it so much easier to use. I just do a casual 27 twice. <laughs> Surely that's not the correct way to be playing, but it's funny, so it's gotta be good, right? I think this guy inflicts us with annoying statuses. Yeah, he gives us wounds. Which are pretty frustrating to deal with, but... Fifteen blocks, pretty good. I'm taking twenty six- I'm taking a lot. I think I just full block here. There's really no reason not to. I wish we hit this guy twice, but that's fine. Pop you, pop you, go for the eyes. Hit him with a scrape. Actually, my answer doesn't seem that bad. I guess this is just like, oh, you need to really DPS down the minions to fight. Which, like, I probably should have used a potion there. 
These are going to take a ton of damage here. I don't have anything really good to use this on here, sadly. That should be lethal on you. 32 damage, get wrecked. I'm just gonna pop this to get a little bit of extra damage off. So close. Goodbye. Bottled Lightning. Choose a skill to start with. What skill do we want to start off with? I wonder if there's any skill that we want on our starting hand is one of these madnesses. Specifically the one that's not upgraded. Yeah, too dark for each orb slot. Meh. Meh. That's actually worse to have these be cheaper. As weird as that sounds. Because of Necronomicon. Team Cell Plus seems good. Getting some extra vulnerable, making it so you do more consistent damage. Just seems good. Alright, so we took Deca down by nearly half. I don't know which of these is better to kill first, because I don't really know what they do, but we did it. I should probably also be actually trying to block damage coming in, instead of just going for face. Let's see, so we have like no block, so we'll rip that to just get a lot of extra block. We still take a ton of damage. Do we have all for one in the back? We do. This is based on discard pile. Uh, I don't really want to use. We're fine, surely. Yeah, look at that. We have you. Look at all these good things that we have. We did not block for as much as I'd hoped, and we drew the streamline at a really bad timing. Honestly, having Scrape be a zero cost to be huge. Can I force it? I can force it. No reason to use you, so no reason to make you worse. Can I hologram out the... I cannot this turn. Unless... No hologram? Unfortunate. Just rip some defense here. I guess I can use this. Oh, right. You're free now. I forgot. Just block for a ton. We're taking 38. We take 5. Let's see. I think Streamline should be in the back, right? Yeah, Streamline's in the back. Let's fish out the Streamline. And now this becomes one of our best zero cost cards. And it just does a ton of damage that turn. It's a 40 damage attack because it's played twice. You do zero. That's so sick.
Let's see. I think we just rip the reinforced body and take 12, 14, 14. Math is hard. So you go for the eyes, beam cell, finesse, claw, all for one. Claw, beam cell, go for the eyes, finesse. And we can just strike for a little bit extra damage here. And streamline. Goodbye. Boom, boom. The source of all evil. Attack! You ask yourself, have I been here before? The heart pulse pulses louder and louder as your consciousness begins to fade. A sudden burst of energy emanates from inside you, jolting you awake. The heart retreats upwards. A large door is revealed in its place. Alright, so this is my first time fighting the heart. We'll see if we can make it to the heart, actually. Silver Bear does do anything at this point. It's actively harmful to have it in the deck. Is this free? Yeah. The dual cast is actually quite nice then. With what we have going on. I do like the streamlines a lot. Streamline's so good. I don't ever feel like we're poor on energy, really. Thin to win, baby. Thin to win. Surrounded. Receive 50% more damage if attacked from behind. Use targeting cards or potions to change your orientation. I understand. Oh, this is painful. So if I want to swap my orientation... Hmm... I think I rip all of these to be able to make one of these free. Because those are still just strong, especially if I can just force them into my deck. So how much energy do I have at this point? I have quite a bit. I have 30 incoming damage. I have no way to block that much. You want to apply weak here? To try and reduce this guy a little bit? He's still doing 21 damage incoming. Still doing so much damage. That is so much damage. Alright, yeah, hit the guy that doesn't do anything into you. That's cool. I don't mind. No, keep doing that. You're doing great. Why is my focus down? I have no idea why my focus is down. Alright, so that's... So bad. Wait. How oh, do we lose off of that? Are we dead? Oh, we are so close to dead. We need to face this way. Oh, so bad. 
I should have popped the potion to do more damage to this guy for that turn. Alright, sorry, Fairy, and the bottle's gone. Alright, we have a respite turn. I saw two costs go into here, I thought. Nope. I don't mind ripping this onto one of the holograms here. And then we can use this to then pop a streamline. Probably should have used a scrape first, honestly. Because the nice thing about using a scrape there is that it gives me a chance to get the all for one back into my discard pile and then I can fish it out with a hologram. That being said, we could also just get it. Alright, so let's pop you here. I don't need that. I don't know how I have so much block. That's a running theme with me with this character is I'm just like, I don't know why I'm in a functional state half the time, but apparently I am. Big three damage beam. So good. Oh my god, we made it through. Oh my god, we made it through. <laughs> uh, 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 oh, we're fine. This is fine. Now for an even harder fight. Just a little bit more block. Maybe that helps. Maybe that fixes everything. Uh, that's such a bad start. You can only lose 300 more HP this turn. Okay. I can't do, like, almost anything this turn. That was a really bad hand. I just have to take 36. Alright. We cannot really block any of this. Yeah, we literally can't block any of this. We're just dead. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, our deck was good at DPSing things down. We drew really poorly there at the start, which is wild considering we had three innates. And a bottled lightning.